All right, so in the previous video, we created our layout file, but we were still using this anchor tags. So that means when we switch the pages, we would call the server every time. So that's not what we want, of course. Instead, we want to use a special link from Inertia. So let's create our script tags in our layout component. And we want to import link from Inertia.js. Now, instead of using these anchor tags, we can use that link element and then use the href on this one. Again, we want to go to forward slash for home and another one for about. So we can get rid of these two anchor tags. Let me change this one too. And that's it. So let's see how this would work. So I'm on the about page. I'm going to go to the home page, then about switch back and forth. And you notice there is no call to the server. So just using this link element, we take away that traditional server call. Now at the moment, you notice the title for our pages is basically the URI. So if we switch between these pages, we just see the URI in the title. So we can make this dynamic using another element from inertia, and that is a head element. So let's import it in our layout component, and then let's use it right before that div. This head element would be merged with the head element from our root document which is this one. Right now we have three meta tags. So let's say we want to add a title here. We can use the title element here and pass in, for example, my app. So if we go back to the website, now it says my app on every page because it's on the layout page. We could of course have meta tags here. Let's say we want a meta description and say this is the default description. So if we inspect our site and inside the head tag, we have this meta tag with the name description and the content and also this inertia attribute. So you notice our title and meta has this inertia attribute to it. So having this attribute on these tags allows inertia to recognize these tags so that we can dynamically change them. For instance, I want to change the title based on the page I'm on. So for home it should say my app that home and about should say my app then about. So let's go to our home page and then import that head element again. And we could also register these components as global components so we don't have to import them every time. But for now, let's just stick with the simple ones. I'm going to create that head tag here and then set the title to home. Now let's go back to our website, go to the home page. You notice I lost that my app text and now it is replaced with home. And if we inspect the head element, we have our title set to home. So with inertia, we can only have one title tag. So that means if we keep adding these title tags on different components and they are shared with each other, only one of them would apply. But that is not going to work for meta tags. For instance, if I add a meta description here and say, for example, this is the home page meta and go back to our website and give the refresh. Now you notice we have two meta tags with the name description and one of them says is the default one. The other one it says is the home page. So this is not what we want. We want to have only one description so we get the right content for that specific page. So in order to fix this, we can add another attribute to these meta tags or basically the tags that can be repeated. So in our layout, we can add the head key attribute and set it to description, basically the name of this meta tag. Then we want to copy this and add it to all the other meta tags that have the same name. Now let's go back to our website, give it a refresh on the home page. If we inspect the head element, you notice we have only one meta tag with the name description, and that is from the home page. So the default one is replaced with this one. So that is kind of makes sense. Basically, we are saying if a specific page has this description meta, then that is the description we want to use. But if there is no description like this home page, then use the default one. So we could do a similar thing for our title because this about page doesn't have a title, so it says my app, but our home page says home. So we lose the name of our app, which is my app. To handle this issue, we can go to our app js and use another property or option on the create inertia app and that is title so we can pass a function here and then accept a title parameter and basically we just want to return a default name for our app let's call it my app and then chain this title so we can use template string and just use that title. So this is the global title for our app. Let's go back to our website. You can see now I'm on the home page and it says my app home. If I go to the about page, it says 
my app two times because in our layout we have this title so we can get rid of this title in the layout and then we see only one so if we want it to be a specific we could just add that head tag on every page so for example i don't need this head element in the layout file i'm gonna get rid of it on the home page i don't want this meta tag but i do want the title and since this is only one element within the head tag we can actually pass the title as an attribute to this head element so I want to call it home and we can get rid of this whole thing and self close that head element we would still see the same thing on the home page and maybe we could add a dash here or maybe even a pipe so we see my app pipe home and i'm using it this way instead of passing it here globally because if i do it here and there is no title like this and we go to the about page then we see that pipe it kind of looks weird that's why i'm adding it to a specific pages. So I want to use the same thing for the about page, but I don't want to import this head tag every time I want to include the title. So let's get rid of this import here. Also in our layout, I can delete that. In our app.js, we can register global components in this create app, which is part of Vue.js. So we want to use the component function here, then use name as the first argument, and then the actual element that we want to use in this case is a head element from inertia. So we need to import it. And since we are here, we can do the same thing for the link. Let's just import link to from inertia and duplicate this line, just change it to link like this. So this way we can go to our layout, get rid of this import, then go to the home page. we have no import, then just copy this head element and paste it inside our about page and change the title to about and we don't need to import anything back to our website the links still work the same way if we switch between pages you notice the title also changes up there right so that's about this video in the next video we want to talk about progress indicators